Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing. You will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I had one question that was coming from Moren. Moren is coming from Morodovia. Thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for the comments and liking the presentations. The question was, why is it that the, all the airports talk about the PCR test results? Is it the only results that are required at the airport? The answer? Yes, depending. But before we go on to do the details, with the research of the medical device network, let's first get through what is the PCR testing and what is the tests for COVID-19. Ah, the test for COVID-19 can be divided into what you call the antigen and antibody tests both of which use different kinds of samples to search for different hallmarks of SARS, CoV-2, the virus. Medical Device Network takes a closer look at the different types of COVID-19 tests. One is the polymers chain reaction, which is well known as the PCR tests. These are sent away to a lab to diagnose the disease. We have another one is called the lateral flow tests, which are known as the LVTS. They can diagnose COVID-19 on the spot, but however, some people say, or some medical research say they are not as accurate as the PCR tests. Another one is called the antibody or the serology tests. Can, this cannot diagnose an active infection, but they can help to tell if a person has immunity to COVID-19. That is what they had to say. But the question is, what is a PCR testing? PCR tests are used to directly screen the presence of the virus, the viral, which will be detected in the body before the antibodies form or symptoms of the disease are presented. What does this mean? The test can tell whether or not someone has the virus very early on in their illness. That's why sometimes when you call an emergency ambulance, they will first ask for a few signs. How discomfortable do you feel with your body? What signs do you see with yourself? Then they can quickly have the response to you. During a COVID-19 testing, a substance known as a reverse transcriptase or a DNA, DNA polymers, are added to what you call nephrologite sample in the lab. This is a small bit of biology, but we need to understand the whole concept. This is so that the enough copies of RNA are present to signal what you call a positive result. We can say that, well, what we have to know is that the PCR gives us a good indication of who is infected. That is per the Universe of Success, Senior Lecturer in Microbiology, Dr. Edward White. They can be isolated, get in contact with people they have been in touch with, so they can be quarantined too, just in case. That is why some countries, they have what we call the different apps. They will tell you, if you get suspected, or if you came to near to a person who has the COVID-19, you will also be separated and quarantined 
so that you can, can try to see if you can have the signs of uh, contraction at one way or the other. Sometimes they will say you have to self-isolate yourself away such that you can see that you have the signs or not. However, PCR still has its caveats. The types of COVID-19 tests need to be sent away to a lab laboratory for analysis, meaning it can take days for people to find out the results. False negatives can occur up to 30% of the time with the different PCR tests, meaning they are more useful for confirming the presence of an infection than giving a patient the cold clear. When we look at the Warwick Medical School Honorary Clinical Lecturer, Dr. James Gill said, during the course of the heartbreak, the PCR testing has been refined from the initial testing procedures and with the addition of greater automation to reduce errors. As we are looking at the swabs taken from people, who have a lot of other organisms floating around. We are essentially dealing with the question on how write the results we are looking at. That is a par Dr. Warwick the, from the medical school, Honare, and uh, a clinical lecturer, Dr. James Gill. Something we need to remember or something that we need to know is that Different airports all need different types of tests for travel or at the point of entry. The certificate you have will have to bear a particular recognized type of the test. But remember, to some airports, you look at the digital or the SMS certificates are not allowed. Look at uh, not allowed at the point of entry. And what does it mean? They will require you to take another PCR testing on arrival, which sometimes may be a little bit very expensive for people without an extra coin or money with them at the time of arrival. However, for the simplicity or for the accuracy, each of the country in the world needs to see that it protects its citizens, it protects its people away from the spread of the pandemic. We can say at one moment that still the PCR gives us a good indication of who is infected and how to deal with that person what treatment to give to that person how can we isolate that person away from the other and how can the virus be dealt with but remember the most common types of tests that are being used and being accepted by different countries by different point of entry at the airports is what we call the PCR test. We say that the PCR test, the polymer chain reaction, are sent away to the lab to diagnose the disease. What does it mean there and there? It actually means that the results that will come out will be accurate results that can enable to read out situation or to read out the health of a given person or a given tested person at a time. So guys, I think Moran, uh, thanks so much for the question and uh, this is pretty very good and this is what you asked for. So uh, guys, if you need to know something, you can put in my subsection comment below. I'll always be happy to get back to you as soon as 
possible. Thank you so much for working my, to watching my channel. Thank you for the comments. Those that are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel, the only channel with the true information. Thank you so much. Next time, don't remember, don't forget that we shall also look at uh, uh, the other travel requirements, the testing centers. Uh, our next video will be looking at the testing centers, accepted testing centers around the world, the approved testing centers around the world, such that if you are to travel, you know where you get to get your PCR test result that is genuine to avoid a disappointment at the point of entry wherever you'll be traveling to.